Hey, we're Copec. We started it's about eight years ago. Got together, started jamming, writing songs, and it's taken us this far. First and foremost, we were kind of very interested in songwriting. And the song was always kind of the most important thing, regardless of which style or direction we were going to go. As far as the sound goes, we were kind of quite eclectic at the start. We used like we used to write acoustic songs, rock songs. People really seemed to be digging the music. We we were kind of doing we were doing stuff with quartets, and it was kind of. We were like a million different bands and it was like what you were saying, songwriting, but then we kind of said, hang on a minute, let's let's get it, let's let's do what we want to do, let's get a little heavier, let's let's get into it. And we kind of we went we went down that direction and that's kind of where Copec came from, you know. We couldn't, we could never afford to pay for rehearsals, so there was this bar in Temple Bar and we used to just go down there and get drunk off our asses. And then I remember there was one time that we were about to get up and play and the bouncers came down and started throwing us out for being underage drinkers. We used to do that every every Saturday for about two years, and that's where we kind of learned how to drink, learned how to play, learned how to fight. And that's kind of... <laughs> learned how to play and drink. Yeah, play and drink and, and fight. The same time. I mean, there was nights we were getting, or days we were getting up there with black eyes. We were like an American football team. <laughs> yeah, yeah it looked great. It looked yeah. great, it was rock and roll. But yeah. Yeah, the global battle of the bands um, it kind of started small scale, it was like they'd have local heats and then we won that so we won the chance to represent Ireland in the competition and we flew to London representing Ireland. We entered the year before and we, we got kicked out um, and then the next year people were saying oh you got to enter this, we'll do it, we'll do it, we'll just throw it in and we just kept getting through all the heats. Yeah because like, there's a hundred grand on the line here. You know, we put our name out there, we weren't expecting to win it. It just kind of gave us kind of a little bit of belief in what we were doing. We had some new songs, we went to a studio down the country in Ireland about six months later. We got a call from Glenn from Religion Music. We explained to him that you know we wanted to take this as far as we could go and luckily he was into the music as much as we were. When we started recording we really wanted to make a record that had like a big kind of drum sound and a big bass sound and we walked into this room it was like the inside of a castle but we wanted it to be rock and roll big guitars big voice and uh, yeah the room just felt right you know we wanted to make an album that had no fillers or shit on it we wanted to make an album that rocked from start to finish we were able to present it you know record it to the highest quality so there was no chance of people not hearing what was there <laughs> Colour Lies, well the song, there's a couple of songs that kind of tie into the idea of why Colour Lies in the album, it's Sin City, it's Subhuman, it's basically just social commentary. We felt that like in years gone by there was punk bands like the Sex Pistols who would kill for the kind of subject matter that's around today. It's all kind of very trivial issues I and mean, we wanted to kind of bring it back to something that meant something and grabs it in your mind and in your heart and gets people thinking a little bit. For us to come here, this is really a place for us where, you know, the roots of the music that we love came from. You know, we're really into American bands, everything kind of came from America, so it was great for us to come back here and see where it all started. These American crowds love good music, and this tour, people don't know us, this is our very first tour, and, and, and we're playing, and, and people are freaking out, and it's, it, we know it's good when, when crowds come up to us here in this country and, and go, holy and shit. And the way, in the economic climate, the way things are, for someone to give you the like $10 or the $20 for the t-shirt, that to me, we are completely blown away by that. To never hear of a band and come up and give me give me your money, like that, that, that to me is like respect. It's, it's an amazing thing, especially in this day and age, you know what I mean? It's a good thing.